our viewers? Well, this is some Railroader news. So Railroader, the game, released only yesterday, and it's already had two build updates. So the day before. Maybe it was the day before. Um, anyway, build 2023.2.1, which is the one I was playing on initially. Releasing Railroader has been a bit like standing trackside, hearing the train in the distance, and then having all your senses overwhelmed by the rush of sound and colour. We've heard great things from many of you. We also know that there are bugs that are affecting others of you. We're working hard to address these issues. Thank you for your patience. I have to say on the bugs that I've reported to date, there's been a pretty good response on those. So well done to the devs. And on the um, suggestions I've reported, the devs have been quiet, but that's not that surprising. They need to look at things and think about things. It's interesting how some of the audience have reacted, though. Some of the audience have reacted to the uh, ideas as well that's crap but you know audiences everywhere they are full of knobs bankers but anyway as usual i read these things to you to improve accessibility to the information for those of you who are interested in the games so news here multiplayer join has been reworked to make it easier to find the railroad you want now you can enter the reporting mark of the railroad you want to join in the search field for example crr and the game will show you railroads matching that mark We've also adjusted the settings to search for more distant games. Give it a try and let us know. That'd be good, because I want to play with Blue. Adjusted the automatic waybill behaviour to fix waybills being set incorrectly in specific cases, such as the East Whittier coal loader. We've also added a cycle button to the car inspector, which forces this car's waybill between its two destinations, RR97. Added six bridges between Roto and Andrews. Fixed an issue that could prevent saves from loading due to a switch list data. Fixed shift R not working to manually push a car while standing on it. Fixed errors in control section of EETT. Lettering is now limited to 100 characters. Oh, that's because someone crashed the game by putting in a really long name on a train. Uh-oh. Fixed the will not crossing pad. And then this morning we got another update, which was build 2023.2.2. Fixed an issue that could cause terrain tiles to not load, which appears to have been contributing to a memory leak. Fixed a copy to coupled affecting cars not owned by your railroad. Fixed automatic waybill cycle not clearing when both are not set. Fixed interchange thorn cars with a reporting mark that matches yours getting marked as owned by your railroad, preventing them from being despawned when the interchange is served. So in other words, if someone had the same reporting mark, like mine's TSD, then um, it would think they were yours. To fix the existing saves, you switch the sandbox mode temporarily and delete the cars. Or, you know what I'd do? I'd move them to a siding so you could keep them without having to buy them. Hmm. Didn't happen to me, so I'm sad. But anyway, it's still an early access game. I'm quite enjoying it. It's got some bugs. It's got a way to go. It's not fair to review it. So we'll just keep Pokemon out the news and we'll keep playing it. So thanks for watching, folks. I hope this has been useful. Any questions, let me know in the chat. I will put a link to Railroader's Discord. Can I? Because I probably can't. No. Go to the Steam page for Railroader, and there's a link to their Discord there. I probably can't copy their link. But anyway, have fun, folks. Enjoy yourselves. As always, enjoy. See you later. Bye.